This is my Craftsman 44807 socket wrench. I really liked it, and it came in this nice kit with deep sockets. However, recently the ratcheting mechanism started acting up, skipping and jumping when trying to tighten a fastener. This was a nice US made wrench and it served me well for many years, so I thought I'd give a try at repairing the ratcheting mechanism with a kit you can easily find online. Stay tuned to see how I spent $8 and a few very frustrating hours repairing the wrench. My wrench is a little bit grimy, but um, down inside there, uh, there's a a snap ring and to remove that I will try using these snap ring pliers which have little little tangs um, which go into the holes of the snap ring and let's see here having uh, some axis uh, difficulties going that way well oh, that's much better there we go yeah it's dirty Looks like we have another guy in here. There were instructions in the in the bag there, but I'm gonna wing it. Looks like we have a little ball bearing and in there. Here's the uh, reversing lever. Let's. Uh, oh, there's the ball. Let's not lose that. There's uh, some sort of maybe a spring in here. Okay. Well, there's not much going on in here. That's good. Um, it's not too dirty in there, but I'll I'll get in there and see if I can clean some crud out. So here's all the old parts uh, that were removed. And uh, it looks like the kit comes with uh, replacement everything here. So instead of messing around with only replacing a part that I think might be the problem, I'll just go ahead and, and put all the replacement parts in. The instructions um, for the assembly part and there's a an assembly tool which was not included in the kit so we'll we'll have to see if we can get by without it and what that assembly tool looks like it's supposed to do is push this ball bearing down and and hold it down with the spring so you can you can get the paw and all right uh, first thing, we'll install the spring. Okay, then it says to lubricate the end of the spring before you put the ball in. Oh, that's probably more than enough. Oh, oh geez, we got a magnetic situation here. It's going to cause me a problem. All right, after having several difficult minutes installing the ball after the spring, I'm going to stick the ball bearing on top of the spring and insert the whole assembly. Oh. Okay, that little little bit of oil I think helped. I'm just using this as a tool to push the spring in a little bit. Yep, there we go. Now it's Paul time. I'm worried about that ball bearing popping out again. Yep, got it. When I say got it, I mean ball bearing popped out. All right, I'm back. Take this thing out again. I'm getting oil all over. I'm 
Okay. 20th time is the charm. Ah, oh, dang it. No. We're looking good. The springs as far down as it can go without being compressed. The ball is in the correct spot. I have a, a pen from a pen cap. I just ripped it off. I'm going to try to push that ball down. Oh, Jesus. I just, I'm bending the, the bottom out here so I can have something to grab onto. So I got a good, good bend now. Oh, jeez, it doesn't... Seems like it just wants to... Every time I touch that ball, just go... Oh, no, I got it. All right, I'm holding... Oh, I'm holding the ball in. Um, now, you know what I'm going to do? Follow the instructions. It says to install the arm first, or the lever. Oh, please don't have the ball come out. It came out. Gonna start over. All right, we're back. Same position. Uh, got the ball in with the spring. The lever is in. And now the paw will go in, I hope. So the lever has to be inserted and then pressed up, up towards the top here. I see that now. That might have been causing me some issue. Okay. I'm starting to think that my homemade assembly tool is too thick. Hmm. All right, made another modification to my assembly tool before this was kind of zigzagged. I think that was hanging me up trying install, to install the Paul. I'm not sure if you heard that, but my ball bearing went flying. So this is the old ball bearing and it's 93 thousandths in diameter and I'm measuring that now just in case this one goes flying. Okay, I rebent my assembly tool. I did a dry run without the ball bearing and I think it's gonna work. Now here's the real deal. We got the ball bearing on the spring. Nope. Oh, come on. Nope. <sighs> what the fuck? All right. Mm. That one went flying, but I was able to find it. Oh, they. I'm starting to regret trying this. I could have bought a new wrench for it. Slightly more than the rebuild kit. Try to get it to drop down a little more. Yep, there we go. Cover this so it can't go f flying, ideally. I think that worked. Here's the lever going in. Trying to hold the lever with my index finger. Flat side goes out on the pawl. Oh yes, I did it, I did it. I hope that was the hardest part of the rebuild. 
the instructions say now to lubricate the gear. Something must be wrong with my bottle of oil because I'm dripping all over the place. Oh, that feels, that feels good. Here's the cover. And the new snap ring. We'll see how many times I can get this to go flying now. All right. Nope, we're not quite in. There we go. All right. Let's get one of my sockets here. No skipping in the tightening direction. Oh, and not in the loosening. All right. Well, I'm I'm satisfied even though it caused me a lot of <laughs> aggravation and frustration. But um, my, my nice Craftsman uh, socket is back in business. So I guess that's it for now. And we'll smell you later. <laughs>